What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in the background you'll see some gameplay on my Striker Titan and the weapons used are the DFA Kinetic Hand Cannon, the Xion 7 Energy Pulse Rifle from New Monarchy, and the Wardcliffe Coil Exotic Rocket Launcher all while using the Feedback Fences on Bottom Tree Striker with lightning grenades. Always get questions in the comment section about my loadout, figured I'd just lead with that. Also, if you ever have a question about my loadout, check uh, my pinned comments. I often just list it in the comment section or in the description. Now, in this video, I wanted to chat about the difficulty level of obtaining what used to be one of the two greatly sought after medals in Destiny, the We Ran Out of Medals. The second is the seventh column, which I'll get to later. Now, in Destiny 1, the We Ran was pretty it was pretty challenging to obtain considering the uh, the low time to kill sandbox and players averaging between 4 and 5, you know, sometimes more supers a game. Now, in Destiny 2, the medal only requires 20 eliminations as opposed to 25 kills in Destiny 1. So that I mean that could even potentially be a 20 assist spree to get one of the top 2 medals in the game. I mean, I have to admit that I am not I am not a fan. Now, before you blast me for wanting it to be harder for players to snag this medal, just know that I, I don't want anything about the medal to change. What I do want is something much harder for players to chase. Uh, think back with me to the history of Bungie uh, with like the Halo series. See, Bungie tossed medals in the game that were so astronomically rare that many players spent two or even three years chasing some of them only to end their career with like just a handful of them now, i'm talking about 30 40 50 kill streak medals i remember going back to halo 3 day after day after day searching for the opportunity to snag some of these medals and the obsession that i had with pulling up my bungee profile online and, and literally counting my medals like a like a dragon sitting on top of his pile of treasures the pure vanity of it all i mean i i miss that feeling and the We Ran Out of Metals medal just does not scratch that itch for me. It doesn't scratch the itch that I have for a highly elusive metal. Now with some of the new changes to Quick Play, I mean, I'm racking up multiple We Rans a day, as are many other players. Now there has to be something beyond, something elusive, something to obsess over and chase day after day after day after day. And the, the We Ran is simply not that. It just isn't that. It's gotten to the point where if I do solo quick play, I mean, I can end a I can end a few hour gaming session with five, six, seven. We ran out of medals, and it just it gets to the point where I see it pop up on the screen, and I feel nothing. I mean, I feel absolutely nothing, and I think that some players are also sensing the sort of the value depreciating with that medal. It's not like it used it like it used to be in Destiny One. Now, at the very least, I mean, I would love to see 30, 40 killstreak medals tossed into the game. And the thing is, this is this is easy content. I mean, this is easy development that adds replayability to the game. It adds longevity simply by adding a couple vanity items. And, you know, it's, it's a, a whole new layer of the player chase and the player peacocking that we could have in this game but we need more than simple kill streak medals too i mean in destiny 2 we don't even have the reaper medal anymore which was a in my opinion a lovely addition late in the span of destiny 1's life i mean we should see reapers headshot kill sprees 30 plus kill matches without a single death medals I mean, go back to Bungie Roots and get really specific with those medals. You know, I mean, we used to have 5, 10 kills, uh, 15 kill streaks with shotguns alone and snipers alone. I mean, they had their own, you know, they had their own medals for each individual kill streak with just those individual guns. And uh, do more specific stuff like that. Let people peacock a bit and show off what they specifically are good at fusion rifle sprees, sniper sprees, shoddy sprees. Uh, you know, hand cannon sprees, pulse sprees, whatever. I'm not just talking about three kill streaks with those things like we have. I mean, that's lame. We, we need more than that. These little vanity medals add another layer of depth and an aspect of pursuit for the players. And we know it works. We do. Because we've seen in a number of other shooters how people will obs I mean, absolutely obsess over individual medals and wear them proudly and brag about them to their friends, brag about them online, show them off on the forums 
show them off on YouTube, show them off on Twitter, whatever. We naturally love seeing that stuff and chasing and finally acquiring those things. So all this to say, I, I would love to see another layer added to the PvP experience with the simple addition of, uh, you know, many more PvP medals to chase. I know I would treat it like a checklist personally. I would go uh, collecting and checking off those boxes and checking my account to see what metal. Okay, well, I've got one of these, but I don't have one of these yet. So today I need to equip a uh, I need to equip a linear fusion rifle. You know, just chasing those things. And uh, I mean, you can even go, you know, you can even go deeper, further down the rabbit hole and start awarding things, even simple things like shaders and emblems just easy content nothing that's too dramatic or filled with you know depth but just simple vanity items like that for very specific pursuits for the player i think i personally think would just go a long way into adding some longevity and another layer of depth to the pvp experience in destiny 2 so let me know what you think in the comment section i do read all the comments would you chase metals or would you like to see some more specific medals that show off the way that, that you, specifically you, play? I'd genuinely like to know. So make sure you hit up the comment section. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Genuinely appreciate all of you for being a part of my community, for supporting me throughout the years, for watching the videos, for tuning into the streams. Uh, we've got some really fun and exciting things that we'll be announcing uh, on stream tomorrow. So feel free to stop by midday for that as well. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the Crucible. Peace.